Well, it's a, a foggy morning and, well, <laughs> I've come out without any particular strategy. As I've said many times, the flat landscapes of the Norfolk Broads do pose some difficulties for me, in my mind at least. And particularly on a day like today when all I've got to shoot is shapes. And I've got to get relatively close to them because you simply can't see them. For instance, over here, and I don't know whether you can see it, straight over there, there is a tree. Now, I love this tree because it's completely isolated in a field and often it's ploughed uh, directly towards it so you get some wonderful leading lines. But it's only just about visible and I don't think I've really captured it. We've got this line of trees down here, but they're close. Now, you know, that tree's, I don't know, 150 yards away and oh, we can barely see it. I mean, there's, I don't think it's a photo in it. I have shot it. I might shoot it again. It's cleared a little bit. Uh, and if we can see it, and if it's a decent photo, I'll put it up. But driving here, I saw a footpath sign, just a wooden footpath sign. Driving here, I saw a, a wooden footpath sign. I drive past it most days. Um, and pay no attention to it. Uh, but today, of course, it's just straight up against the fog, um, kind of stark in the reality of it. And I realise, of course, that uh, my exposure here is appalling. Um, uh, I apologise for that. Uh, should have sorted it out a little better. But anyway, going back, this footpath sign, as I say, straight up, quite interesting today, noticeable today. I don't know why I've never really noticed it before, it's probably because I don't see it that often in fog. So I might go back and shoot that. But I'm just out driving. Um, I'm probably going to go down to Thurn Mill um, because again, big shape, uh, I can get quite close to it and I can probably uh, get a uh, an interesting kind of silhouette type shot of it. Beyond that, currently I do not know. So uh, this is one of those kind of freeform, out in the fog videos, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Anyway, there's a shot. Car coming past now. There it goes. Anyway, uh, there's a shot of these trees coming up for you now, and uh, we're going to move on. very misty. Uh, the windmills, uh, I suppose what, I'm 200 yards from it. Probably not that actually, 100 yards. <coughs> it's quite visible. Got the foreground of the reeds ahead of us and usefully there's a patch of reeds that look a bit downtrodden here so if I go into here a little I might be able to get a shot that we wouldn't normally be able to get on an angle on it uh, just because of the, the reeds really uh, coming shooting over the reeds onto the mist I think I'm going to try that
Dog doesn't like them. Now the sun's coming up behind us. So I think I'll try for a different angle on this looking towards the sun. I really like this one. It's a just a, a nice airy image. But what I really like is just this little hint of a gate, just right of centre. to head back to the car and go to another location where perhaps I've got some subjects who are a little closer to me. I'm going to find some woodland I think, hopefully anyway, some tree cover and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Did this gate close? No it didn't, good. Well, I've come to uh, a woodland area on the edge of Hickling Broad and uh, immediately almost uh, I spied this. There's that lone tree there. I'll see what I can do with that. Well, the more eagle-eyed of you might have noticed that uh, it's springtime. The, uh, the winter plumage is gone. Primarily because, one, I found the uh, beard trimmer, and two, my work colleague, thanks Steve, called me Fagan, having looked at one of the other videos. So, yeah, it's gone. Boy, it's cold as well. Anyway, top tip. Whenever you're out walking, heading somewhere, or whatever it happens to be, just whenever you're out walking with the camera, Turn round. Always turn round. Look at what it is you're dealing with. Because it's not everything just straight in front of you. So uh, I've been walking in this direction. And, well, it's arguably a bit dull and drab. But I've turned round. And um, that's, that's rather more interesting. I rather like that. And I'm sure that there's a shot here, possibly of these reeds. The featheriness of these reeds is gorgeous and they're just dripping with dew.
I'm cracking on that way. And uh, as you can probably see, the sun has really begun to burn through now. So I don't think I've got a lot of fog left, which is a shame because there's a nice bit of woodland down here and I think I've missed it all. But uh, there's some blue sky peeking through above us as well. Let's see what we get. Stop talking, get walking. And uh, maybe there's a bit of mist still trapped in the, uh, in the woodland up here. Well, sadly, there's barely a hint of mist in the, uh, the woodland here. We'll have a wander and see whether there's any interesting shots to be had. Not terribly hopeful. What's wonderful here is the colour of this water. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what deposits are in it that are causing it to be this red, but it's astonishing. Have a look. Incredibly red. Very surreal. Now one of the things that I said in my last video, oh, people coming, <laughs> don't like people. Not when, not when I'm doing this. Anyway, one of the things I said in my last video was about using uh, the strap. Now, I tend to put the strap around my wrist and then I double wrap it and that means it can't fall off. It's also really good for then hooking my thumb and round if I need to keep the strap out of the way. So if I'm trying to do a shot such as this, I can keep the strap well out of the way and we can work with it without taking it off because taking it off is easy but still a faff and unnecessary and this keeps it out of the way and it means I don't drop it I can walk around like that quite happily uh, as long as obviously I don't clunk it into things I've come off the main footpath a little into the wood here following to see what there is that uh, can be had not a whiff of fog left much to my disappointment I've, I've lost any separation I'm going to get in this woodland through fog, which is a real shame. But uh, I'm still here, let's see what there is to shoot. Probably not much. So we've done a lap of that area now, having come back to the bridge that we crossed a little while ago. And I'm going to carry on beyond the bridge following this dike and uh, see if there's anything down there. Maybe looking back on it. I think looking back into the sun and uh, yeah I think there's possibly something more interesting there because we've got a curve Nice S curve going on it, reflections, it's particularly more as the sun's coming out. I'll do something with that. Let's uh, see whether we can make a nice image out of that. So this is something I haven't tried before. I'm going to put that on the end of this monopod. I'm going to loft it high in the air and I'm going to run the live view on my phone here as a remote control and see what image I can pick up going high. So make sure the feet of that aren't too filthy. Get that on my chest for support. Now then. Come a little further over here. Frame up. Over this one as well. 
just that little bit of height. I say little bit, it's a good kind of five foot over my head, but that extra height has created what I think, certainly looking at it here, well, there, I think that's quite a nice image. Maybe you should see it full screen. I don't know whether this is going to work, just spotted it on my way back. Actually, I didn't really spot it because I didn't have my glasses on, but I could see a blur that way. Uh, I thought, I don't remember there being a water tower there, and of course it's not a water tower, it's a, it, it, it's Hickling Mill, and it's just peeking up over the reeds. A little bit of cloud interest. I don't know whether this is going to work. 150 mil telephoto. Um, you're going to see it anyway, whether it's any good or not. And yeah, lots of negative space, but we'll see. F6.3800. I want to make sure that pretty much nothing's in focus except infinity. Now, as ever, Whenever you've shot something and you walk a bit further and get a different angle on it, you want to try it again. It's exactly what's happened here. I can see the mill again now through the trees. A bit more foreground interest. Going to try that. I quite like the composition. Now, I shot off a number of different uh, shots for this. Um, but every single one of them suffered from the mill being very soft focus and I'm not sure whether it's the limitation of the lens or whether I just got the focus point wrong. I'm not so sure that having the subject of the photograph so, so tiny in the frame is a good idea. Still, I'm out in the sunshine on a beautiful beautiful day last day of February and um, what's there to complain about well I think that's me done for the day Got some more shots on the way back to the car. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely heading back home for a, a cup of tea. I think it might be tea, fancy tea today. But that doesn't stop you buying me a coffee. 
And if you look on the links below, there's a button or a link to press to buy me a coffee. So if you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you have, then uh, please click the like button. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, the tinkly bell, and you'll be informed of when I post new videos. And, well, have a good march, and we'll see you on the next one. You mean you're still there? Okay, you're still there. Have a look at these other videos over here.